Hello everyone, and uh, we're taking a look at the nine, the T54 Mod 1, and this video is going to highlight its armor. Uh, one thing I've got that's really annoying is that it just tends to be the fact that I am the only guy driving the T54 getting an ammo rack, because the uh, Stato guy never got ammo rack once, and I'm getting ammo rack almost every single game, which is pissing me off so much, and it's kind of uh, deterring me to play this tank, because... Uh, just Amorak, Amorak, Amorak. But this thing just reminds me of the Type 59, which I really hoped I did have one, but nope, I don't have one. And I'll tell you what, this is quite similar to a Type, uh, except that it's not as fast, but you get more armor than the Type 59, so I guess it's a trade off. And I think the, 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 the problem with Water Tanks is that. A lot of people just load gold straight away, and I know that last time I had to face against I'm M6 and they all pen me, and it's really frustrating because they all fire gold, and uh, kind of just neglects the armor already on this tank. But in this game, it's a different case. Uh, the, the replay's a bit bugged there, um, but never mind. I did connect the shots, fired a few blind shots, nothing connected. I don't think so, but we're gonna advance. And here's here's the bounce by Steto guy, and I'm wiggling, and wiggling will give you better armor protection than going straight forward. That's the experience with Russian tanks, you know. You, you go kind of zigzagging, and uh, although you take longer time to get below the gun arc, uh, you will actually increase your armor. And, uh, I did fix my track there, which cost me my, my repair kit. And oh, doesn't connect the shot. And now I'm below the target. So IS, he can try all day to pen me. And then shit, straight away, ammo racked. The first penetrating shot I took, ammo racked me. What, what the hell? And it's just some CDC on the side that's just planting shots after shot into me. And uh, there's nothing I can do about it except uh, hoping someone will deal with it. The 12T is is actually just annoying as hell because he's absolutely useless in my team. He's not doing shit. He's he, he's not. He doesn't even think know that there's a CDC there. I get hit by RT of course because that's just me. But if in any other medium tank, I'm likely to have taken like way more damage. And now, look at this problem. I'm on 175 health, right? Have a look at this. So, juke him. So, you can see this tactic I'm doing is that I was here, that guy drove down, I I put one shot into him. So, what I'm trying to do is to make sure that he is a noob and he will try to block that T28 prototype. So, what I did was I forced him to turn left rather than turn right. Uh, if you want, if you want to see the move I did, I'll go back a few seconds and you see I turned my tank just in the direction, just to make sure that the IS, IS would go this way, and then I would turn right behind him so that I get him between me and the prototype. But somehow the IS keeps on going forward. But if he does stay still, which normally people do, because when they overrun, run your position down a hill. They would go straight forward, right? They would stop, right? To turn. But this guy kept going forward. So I gotta kill this guy quick. And I got tracked. I tracked the T28 Proto. And I gotta make the up there. And oh, he, t he shot me again. And remember, he's a tier 8 TD. He has a nasty gun. And oh, oh, angle, angle the armor. Yeah, does work. Connected one round into the T25, the T225 2, T252. Angles again to bounce and shit. Yak Tiger somehow prototype kills my platoon mate. And now I gotta climb, and the engine is so bad. You can say I'm really lucky here, the prototype is absolutely retarded. But uh, yeah, I don't know what to say really. The, <laughs> the retardedness here. But. As you can see, Yak Tiger makes it up the hill. Angle the armor once again. Bounces the Yak Tiger. Gotta get around here. Just the 13 second 
or something like that. The reload is super bad, and I set him on fire just in time. And now I survived this. How did I just survive that? <laughs> did you see that? I was on 175 health points all that time. I bounced so many shots and got still wall. And uh, with the ammo rack, I still managed to pull off almost 2k damage, which is which is uh, good enough, I would say. And uh, that's pretty much it for this game. Uh, we do we don't get to kill the enemy already. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the game. And we shall see you next time. Hopefully, this video has showed you the brilliant armor the tank has.